Hey YouTube, welcome to my garage. My name's Sean. Um, I've kind of gone and done it again and gone down another little rabbit hole. So I will uh, show you some of the projects coming up. I hope to document a lot of it more for my personal use so I can go back and uh, refer to stuff that I've done. But uh, also if anybody else can get some information out of it, I know I've been looking at a lot of videos um, researching these tractors and uh, yeah, thought I'd do my own version of them. So let's take you to the tractors and show you what I've done. So here's the lineup of my Case 400 series tractors. Uh, it all started with uh, this one right here, Case 448. Got it last fall. I picked it up for the rototiller because I wanted to start a garden and that so I uh, picked it up. First thing I did was made this uh, attachment on the back. I'll get to the attachments later but this is the 446 ran okay right from the go. Uh, the, the throttle and choke need some work. Uh, both of those don't work. The chokes will pull, pull cable uh, he had a pull cable throttle on there too, but it was spring loaded, so you needed needed to use clothespins to actually hold it and run it. So I just threw on a temporary throttle for now uh, until I start tearing it apart. Uh, next one here is a 446. Uh, the, the, the 448 is a 1980. This one's a 76. Uh, I picked it up. The story on it was it was running a couple years ago, but they couldn't get it running again. It was a couple brothers that their father had actually quite a few of these tractors. So I got a pretty good deal on it, brought it home. The starter was, wasn't engaging. So all I did was I actually pressure washed it to get it ready to start digging into it. And the pressure washer actually broke it free and uh, it actually fired up right away so not a lot of work had to go into into it but it's going to be working around the yard here i'm not sure what i'm going to do with each one but uh we'll uh, figure that out as the time goes here's a uh, the next one that is a 76 444 the story on this one was it was parked about 10 years ago and it was running but uh he hadn't done anything with it, so I got another really good deal on it. Went and picked it up, got it home, but the engine was seized, and I suspect that it wasn't running when he parked it. It had a um, a coil for a single cylinder, and it's a twin cylinder engine. It's actually a 17 horsepower engine, and the 444 is supposed to have a 14 horsepower engine, so that one's definitely put on after the fact, but that one needs a little bit of work. There's no air no air cleaner, no um, mufflers. I had to put new points, condenser, and plugs in, but it actually, it was actually seized when I got it home and I hauled it to a friend, a uh, relative, really close friend, uh, Norm. He helped me unseize it and I got it home here and picked up the spark plugs and the points and lo and behold, I got it running. So it's, it's gonna, I'm going to put it back together and work it to see how good this engine is. The cylinder was pitted pretty bad and uh, don't know how it's going to work once it gets up to working temperature and running. So we'll see how that goes and what has to be done with it. And then here's here's a 446. Uh, not sure on the year. I just picked this up. They were giving it away on Facebook Marketplace. I managed to... Uh, lined it up and then somebody offered 200 bucks for it but they didn't show so the lady called me back and said it's mine so I went and quickly hooked up the trailer went and got it brought it home so I'm going to strip it down and store some parts in the parts bin for later and see what I can come up with so that's the tractors and now the attachments, I've just got a uh, diamond harrow here. I've had this for a few years, but it works really good actually with that thing I've got on the back of the 448. Uh, I attached this 
cultivator shovel on the back that would that broke ground so I could get the rototiller in and chewing up the ground on the garden so I built that one and I got a blade the same time I got that um, 446 there was actually this blade this blade and the mower deck I got all at the same time for a really good deal this rototiller came with the which one did it come with now? That one came with the 444. That came off of that one, the 444. That one came with the original 448. I've manufactured some sides on it so the dirt doesn't kick out and leave rows when I go. And then the snowblower came with the original 448 as well. I haven't done anything with it yet. We'll. Uh, We'll try it out this winter. I'm going to put the snowblower on one of the machines and uh, the lighter blade on the other one. This blade here actually looks like a homemade jobby. It's it's a heavy blade and I don't know if it's for dirt work or what. I don't know if the tractors will push it, but we'll give it a try. It looks kind of neat and see what we can do with it. So that's the that's my collection when I go down a rabbit hole. I usually go down hard, so uh, we'll see what we do with these. I think this one's going to be my tractor ultimately in the end. This one I'm going to just keep around for testing purposes and, you know, fix it up and probably sell it. This one is going to be my prototyping and test machine. Any attachments I engineer myself, I'll engineer for this one. And then if it works, then I'll put it on the 448. 448 is probably the one I'm going to tear apart and paint and restore. We'll have to see how all that pans out, and hopefully I will do videos for them all. This one here, like I said, I'm just going to strip it down. We'll uh, get all these rototillers up and functioning and probably uh, try to get rid of some of them to pay for some of these hobbies. But uh, that's what we got going, so... If you're interested, uh, like everybody else says, subscribe and hit that notify button. And uh, if and when I put more up, we'll, uh, you can get some entertainment. And seeing this uh, this YouTube mechanic, uh, see what he can, what kind of trouble he can get into.